Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, let's get in there. Checking in on a quick little update, man. Uh, checking in on the frame, on the re-weld on the frame. Notch, baby. Uh, focus, focus. That's, uh, I had welded it. And I grinded this side down, so now this is the other side when I'm lapping on top of that. You know, so I kind of got, I guess you want to call it two welds, whatever that lap. I think it's called ship lap. I got to research that to make sure, but, uh, yeah, YouTube. Ain't the best wells, you know, they look decent. They better than I'm coming along, getting better than that well. This and then another thing too, this position, like focus, 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 focus. There we go. This position, uh, take this rag glass glove off. Hold on, YouTube. Yeah, it's all tore up. But anyway, this position, uh, you kind of got gravity working against you. I mean, if I was a real good welder, I'd I wouldn't know how to hold and pause for the let that let that uh, material fall down. And, but I ain't a welder. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. I ain't I ain't, I ain't no uh, welding pro. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, Got to smooth them down just a little bit. Just smooth them down a little bit. Got the other side finished. I'm gonna flip. I started grinding. Focus, focus. Started grinding this this bottom because it's gonna be harder to weld. I'm gonna wait time. Kind of hard welding it up this high too, so I'm uh I probably when I flip it over, I probably just go and set the frame on the ground. Um what else you two? Just the other side, just the driver side. That did uh all grind it down. Got that all grinded down. Looking nice and pretty. Like I say, I ain't gotta be no professional world as long as they're getting good penetrating wells. And uh that's why they got that grinder, baby. I ain't gonna show y'all that. I had totally up that up up in there. But hey, that's why they got that grinder, baby. That's why I got big boy right there. My little brother texting me. Now you want to take me by this car. You ain't been worrying about the car the last week or something, sucker. But anyway, that's why I got that big grind. But um, that's it, though, you two. Tomorrow we're going to clean up a few of these little spots. I had had a couple of little spots in there. I put a little material in them, grind it down. Just grind it down a little bit. And uh, we got a brace going across here. I ain't never show y'all that. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all that. I'm going to... Uh, on the next clip of this video, try to keep this short. The other video was kind of long on y'all, man. I know some of y'all don't mind. I know some of y'all be like, God damn, get in there. It's a long ass video. Try to keep them short and sweet, straight to the point. Try to squeeze as much information I can squeeze in in a couple minutes. Or uh, squeeze in much uh, me effing up in a couple minutes. Whatever how y'all want to put it. But uh, I know some of y'all uh, talking about getting me some gas. This is a flex core slash... Uh, Teague, me, me, well, the flex car slash me, I think that's right, yeah, me, and I'm gonna give me some gas for it when I, when I wield the quarter panel on, on the cutting, I'm gonna need, um, uh, focus, focus, I'm gonna weld, uh, I'm gonna give me a bottle of gas, but right now, I know I did a little research, you know, watching a couple of little YouTube videos, and, uh, <laughs> you do get a lot prettier wheels with the gas, I seen that, a lot prettier wheels, focus, focus, focus. I don't know what's up with the camera tonight. You get a lot prettier welds. Uh, you can see I'm getting good penetration. So, last time I had welded, went over here. I said, hell with it. I just welded all the way through, man. It really didn't get that high because, suck, it didn't even really melt the paint. I thought for sure I was going to have to go back and redo all of this. So, I'm going to just uh, take me some 400 paper, knock all this little in flaky stuff off can of uh etching primer we're gonna paint it shucks and that's gonna be done here that youtube but i'm fade back youtube with that uh trans tunnel loop faded back here's the dry shaft loop it's a weld on kit it's too long so it gotta be cut i gotta cut maybe like four inches off each side something like that there goes like that um i lost the instructions because i was read them doing something and uh these sleeves 
go on here we weld them sleeves on here i think i got threads in the sleeve or something and uh and i should be able to screw this on this this part is supposed to be screw on some kind of way i think i don't know if anybody got to shed some light on it but i damn sure lost the instructions uh but and i'll probably cut this down that way it could bring it down to uh probably like right there you know so we'll see when we get to that stage i'm just going to start a bar part the horseshoe part later be then later when i get the dry chef in uh that's it though youtube um gonna go like this right there just like that uh, and then we're gonna probably take us another pipe and well from here to them and that's that's gonna hold that thing tight man i think i got some piping i'm gonna have to hit my boy up for some piping i don't know i might do it like that weld it right across there like that so we'll see you too um what else what else that's it youtube uh part number part number in case anybody want to purchase number one my little local boy keep wearing me you ain't never give me the part number man stop wearing me man look at the part number google it i bought it from summit wasn't that much compared to trick chassis trick chassis won 200 bucks but i really think i'm not for sure i think trick chassis can have a thicker wall on theirs i think there's a thicker wall uh would that make a big difference i mean i don't know maybe if it's an eight second car or something maybe a thousand wheels horses to the wheels but if you running that kind of power you you brace off the whole back end you brace off all that get braced off and you running a fuel tank um uh, a cell tank whatever uh, fuel cell tank in your in your, in your trunk and Racing all across here, the list go on and on. So, will it be? Is it that much needed? I don't know, but that's what we're going with. Uh, I think I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna get on the internet tonight. I think I'm gonna go ahead and order that Eastwood uh, inner inner frame coat stuff with the with the holes on it. Go home and get that. I had that cleaner clean clean in that one time but it's been sitting out it's been sitting out it just flash uh surface rush though but i'm gonna go and get that coated in there oh uh, that's it youtube my bad for another long vid apologies be trying to share all the information i can with y'all man uh shots out man i ain't get a chance to comment on on the last video shots out to the fellas man that was you know little tips on telling me get the gas bottle the wheels will be much prettier and um i'm working on getting me a gas bottle man it just i don't know i don't know it's in my budget right now but it's, it's so much uh crap you gotta go through background check uh credit check all kind of crap man just to get a bottle here man last time i called and checked on one about a year ago i'm gonna i'm gonna call tomorrow find out then you gotta they charge you by the day for the bottle then they charge you for the gas. Then they charge you for the bottle itself. Man, it's going to be at least 200 bucks when you get a bottle. So, uh, I'll work on that a couple more weeks when it's time to weld the quarter pounder in. Uh, that's it, though, YouTube. Uh, sorry for the long vid. Over and out.